So what's cool about oxyhydrogen water fuel cell technology is you don't need a whole lot of electrical knowledge to operate any water fuel cell. Some people are more advanced than others. That's why in this video I'm just covering the basics. You know, some guys haven't seen any of this stuff. So I'm going to go back and film this so you can read it. Just a little bit about the basics of electricity and electrons. You know, so the electron is an essential part of matter. It's very important. Everything you see on the earth, even the air, we're surrounded by electricity. There's no escaping it. And the hydrogen atom has that one electron spinning around that proton. That's where we get our electricity. That's what that electron's all about. Now everybody's gonna have, like I said, Stanley Myers is a good example. Everybody has a different level of electrical expertise. So the importance of the oxygen atom is incredible when working with HHO gas. It really is nice to have the water provide its own oxygen so when you burn it with the HHO, it's very efficient this way. All my reactor designs are built like this. Now I can separate the gas and make pure hydrogen if I wanted to, but the system gets more complicated. That's why you get that flashback. So you're going to think about that when you're working with a system. The oxygen atom plays a huge part in that. That's what starts the chain reaction. It doesn't matter what gas you're working with. When you start adding oxygen to it, it can burn in both directions. Remember that. It's the third most abundant element in the universe. Now it's a blessing, but if you're into uh, separating these two gases, it can become a nightmare, a burden, a, a hazard. You don't want oxygen in your pure hydrogen. See, so people that have separation systems, this could become a huge burden, a nightmare. <laughs> so you don't want oxygen in your pure hydrogen. And I can use a bubbler like this and test any gas. So any gas can be tested before it's used to see if it flashes back or not in this manner. An oxyhydrogen flame is very different from a pure hydrogen flame. So the oxygen atom is very important when it comes back to flame ignition. Whether you're using a laser, a flame, or spark ignition, when you light the end of this, see I've created a situation right here where it will flash back on me. I didn't use any flash arrestor material, I didn't use any dilutants, I didn't use any ambient air, nothing to restrict it or slow it down or anything. So we got pure HHO gas coming out of the end here. See I've got no valve to shut it off, and I want it to go all the way back to the reactor all the way back to the top. I want it to flash back on me. So that's what we're going to do here. So I've created a situation where I'm going to light this and I'm going to get it to slip past this flash arrestor. So it's a good idea to have a reactor that's built to where it can accept the flashback all the way back to the generation system. And that's what the blast chamber is. And that keeps it quiet too when it flashes back. A really good flashback and this thing would jump a few millimeters off the table. It happened. That was so loud that it deafened me a little. Hydrogen is a dangerous thing, I tell you. Okay, maybe it sucks in some air somewhere. Let me hold it. Oh, the pedal, okay. What's it going? Come on, come on, come on. So the oxygen atom has a lot to do with the flashback. Let me show you this. I'm going to light this up here and see if we can get it to do it. Okay, so I have a flame lit. I was expecting it to just flash back all the way down the hose 
and go past the flash arrestor all the way to the top. So what I'm gonna have to do here is go ahead and just shut off the power and it will flash back on me. And I'm gonna show you it go all the way back to the top. So I'm gonna cut the power. The little bud jumped off the end there. It slipped past the flash arrestor and went all the way back to the reactor. So design is everything. Make sure you design it where it can handle a flashback under any condition at any rate. So here I'm going to change the entire chemical makeup of the HHO gas. I'm going to go ahead and add propane. You can add butane, propane, methane. There's a lot of different ways you can do this. See, it won't flash back on me either after doing this. Using the propane, I can change the HHO, the molecular structure. It's not hard to do. I can extend the life of other fuels. A lot of you people that are into separating these two gases, you have to look at what you put in the water. Sometimes you don't want to use water. You know, you don't want to have any oxygen in your separation systems. It's okay with an oxyhydrogen system, that's what it's all about. But when you're separating these gases, you gotta understand the, the makeup, the chemical makeup of the two gases. And that blue flame is an indication that I've changed the stylochromatic mixture of the gas. It's not gonna flash back on, on me when I turn it off, watch. See? So idle hands truly is the devil's playground. And now that you guys have all this extra time on your hands, you should start learning a little bit more about the table of elements. And these elements are all very special and they're all very unique. And they have the diversity of the animal kingdom.
And the oxygen atom has a lot to do with why you get that flashback. It's a very special atom. It controls the burn rate of other gases. Control every other atom on the table of elements. It's very special. So it starts a chain reaction down that hose and sends the gas to burn in both directions. That's how you get a flashback. And a flash arrestor isn't always going to stop that flashback. So it pays to have a design in a system where your reactor and your generator, especially your bubbler, where you have this thing set up where you can stop a flashback no matter what, under any circumstance. It's very important. Now the flashback itself is very important. Let me show you some images in here. When working with a flashback, you can actually use this to create energy systems. I've showed this in other videos. So I invented a reactor called an IIEG. It's an interstellar impulse electrical generator. Okay? And the way this works is I'm using flashbacks to create electrical power. This is what it looks like when you capture a flashback. But I can show you how to do that continuously. So not only are they beautiful, you can use this to create electrical power. So a flashback was a blessing, just like the oxygen atom. So the water gives up its own oxygen. So I've studied the flashback for a long time. talk a little bit more about the oxygen atom. As you can see its electron shell configuration, it has two electron holes. It's missing two electrons. That's how it picks up the two hydrogen atoms. So the oxygen atoms are very special. The dance of the atoms, don't forget that. Brownian motion. It's very important. We'll cover that in the future. So with its doubly magic nuclear structure, you can do some incredible things with the oxygen atom. Its atomic number is 8, and you can find it right there in between nitrogen and fluorine. Now think about this, if you, if you have a separation system, you might not want to use water with an electrolyte. You might want to use something like urea electrolysis or ammonia, because you wouldn't have an oxygen atom in the equation. If you look at how some of these other molecules are arranged, See, there's, there's the molecular structure of ammonia. You would create nitrogen over at the positive anode. Think about that. All that hydrogen you could release. That's just something to think about, you know, getting the oxygen out of the equation when you have a separation system. You gotta know your chemistry, too. And again, here's the tetrahedral electron structure. More tetrahedrons in chemistry. Just something to think about. And the heat coming off of these wet cells is incredible. So they give off heat just like a nuclear reactor. I could get this thing to boil this water if I wanted to. So don't ever underestimate the power of friction in these atoms.